guys. Tora kwa no mwine. Find that you can find heads of elephants, 100, 200, just one head, and they are very peaceful. Well, guys, apparently I was supposed to be told this. Hey lovers, if it's your first time, my name is Audrey, feel free to call me Dre, if it's not, hey lovers, thank you for clicking on yet another of my videos. Now guys, the last time I went on a road trip, it didn't end well, no, actually it ended well, it eventually ended well, but it didn't go as planned. So today, we are trying again, and today I also have a travel companion, she's just stepped out to buy food, so, and today... I'm using Google Maps now although I have been told to specifically not use Google Maps to go to that side today I'm just I'm focused like I'm on the right track I think I think the last time guys it was just I, I don't even know but I choose to believe I ended up where I was meant to be and we're off I hope we get there before sundown because it's not really like super duper safe later and I know in the last video I was like look guys you should guess where I'm going I'm not even doing that today mm -mm, I'm not trying that I'm going to Kapiwe National Park yeah this is my travel buddy hi so yeah wish I, do I still get to call this my first thank, thank you, you. Beauty. I'm 
<laughs> you know, guys, I love to travel because I really get the funniest stories. Uh, I'm sorry if some of them or most of them come out as compliments, but for me, first of all, it's you know reality, and secondly, I I like that I've experienced some of these things because I come back and I laugh at them like this particular one I find it very funny and I share to also you know oh my gosh that is better lighting I share to also you know make other people aware you know when traveling a lot of people think sometimes you know traveling and you're creating content it's just easy peasy no sometimes really funny things happen <laughs> Like I mentioned, we're coming to Mwenfushi Safari Lodge in uh, uh, Kafiwa National Park. Mumba, past Mumba. Well, guys, apparently I was supposed to be told this, that the last place to fuel is in Mumba, because after that and into the National Park, there's no filling station. We are here. We have reached as far as the gate the main gate we've, we've passed the checkpoint into like the game park but then we haven't now we've reached the gates to like into the game park on the safari side and we're out of fuel <laughs> i mean it's not completely at zero but it's at a point where it won't really reach us to the lodge definitely won't be able to come back so 
at least we got here we've spoken to you know the gate i'm just going to show the gate right now guys but it's there we've spoken to the gate people and they've called the lodge and the lodge said they're gonna help us sort out the fuel situation but in the meantime we're gonna have to leave the car here and there's a truck luckily everything happens for a reason guys luckily they have a truck that's coming from lusaka as well that's delivering stuff to the lord so we're gonna get on that truck i don't know what type of truck this is <laughs> so this is fun and it's gonna be interesting we're gonna get on that truck take us to the lodge until we're done with everything and whatnot we will pay for fuel there and then like other people that will be coming will bring us fuel this is about to be a new in my travel experience story guys my my grandkids my nieces my nephews my they're gonna have so many stories to listen to how first of all auntie dre got lost she was supposed to go to Kafi, to mumba she went to cafe where how even auntie dre doesn't understand <laughs> the next thing auntie audrey drives to national park and then she's out of fuel i i love these experiences for myself that i'll always have a story so when I'm quiet, I'm just maybe in my feelings. So you're not asking me the right questions. But I got something to tell you. And we we bypassed for like 1K. We bypassed the place. And then when we were driving back, there was an elephant crossing. Guys, we were just too slow to pick the camera and everything. There was an elephant crossing. And it's around. So since we're waiting for the trucks to come, maybe I'm just going to look out for it. And... Yeah, I'll show you guys exactly where we are. B is seated there because she's just like, wow. <laughs> Hi, B. How are you feeling? Are you tired? You're dead. What have you been doing? It's hot. <laughs> so this is the gate. Uh, Nalusanga Gate Twenty One. Ooh. That side is where the elephant passed. That's that's the main road. To to Mumbwa to Kaoma. We're gonna leave the car parked here. Yeah, but eh, the fresh air is very freshy. Love it. So when you're coming from Lusaka, this is your view. It's exactly 5k from the Hook Bridge. If you miscount 5k, it's about five minutes drive. But this is it. And we passed, but I was like, I think that's it. Because yes, guys, sometimes 5k, Momano, yeah. And they said there's a small poster, which I can't see. I'm guessing it's that one behind there. Okay, let me just walk. Guys, there's an elephant. So... I'm being cautious. It was literally crossing here. And then there's this big truck. I don't... There's no way I was going to see that. There's no way I was going to see that, guys. No wonder I passed it. Really? Why is that? It can be very aggressive. It's because of uh, us humans. We disturb them, so... But they are very peaceful. Because when you go to the southern part of the cafe... Do you mind? Sorry? Do you mind? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, like, do you mind me filming you? Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay, hello. What were you saying about the elephant? Yeah, so I was saying that when you go to the southern part of mm. uh, this park, uh, that is in Goma area, mm -hmm. you find that you can find heads of uh, elephants, 100, 200, just one head, and they're very peaceful. But then this side, because of uh, too much uh, disturbance by humans, so oh, they become okay. aggressive. But the only disturbance is taking pictures, no? Yeah, yes uh, and no. Okay. Uh, the other disturbance is the uh, uh, poaching. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, Isn't it prohibited? Yeah, it is. But then you know how human beings are. We still go ahead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. When someone is stopping you, that's what you want to do. Well, I'm hoping it comes closer. <laughs> <laughs> just so I can capture. Because we saw it when we came back. I'm like, is that an elephant? <laughs> it's just so big. You can't miss it. Yes. They are very beautiful animals. Yeah. yeah. Very beautiful animals and very peaceful. Mm. They even communicate when you go. 
when you go a distance, huh? mm -hmm. when you're going too close to them, you we'll see them doing the foot like this. We'll be doing the foot like this. Oh, you are you're coming. You're breaching the comfort zone. Oh, yeah, so I you, didn't know that. Yes, yeah, so okay. it's telling you you are breaching the comfort zone. So when you go, a, you go a bit, you see that it will stop doing that. Okay. And then it will just be like between, and then it goes. Okay. Roger, mm. They actually communicate. And you know, this is their home. As mm -hmm. we are disturbing them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, update. We've been here for like 20 minutes, 20, 25, and the sun is setting. I'm lucky sad because then I was hoping we could have like a um, game drive tour while, you know, driving in into the park. But if it's dark, we might not be able to see much animals or any animal. And just the fatigue is gonna hit like I'm not tired now I'm just hot and I mentioned there was a breeze but now it's gone it lasted for like five minutes anyways that is the update I will see you guys when when we get to the lodge unless otherwise Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Throw it away, see if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I look. But if I'm gonna lose you I'm so dumb and proud. Don't look back because I mean it when I say it. Yeah. 